I didn't say good night last night. Nor did, I, nor did I say good morning this morning. Can't speak already. Good morning. Off to school. Yeah, school. Um, after school, I have to go to the bank and possibly to the post office. And that'll be about it. Oh, wait. No shoes because my shoes are wet. There's people walking on a tightrope. And I don't know why. Is there a reason? Is there a reason? Yeah, actually, that is a reason. Yeah, there are people we know. Mr. James. Psychology. Not psychology. <laughs> no, this this is a psychology experiment. You know, how long do you focus on test prep when there's people that uh, outside? You know? Awfully, terribly, I failed. That's, that's pretty impressive, though. He's made it quite a way. <laughs> yeah, I would be like, I would get on and immediately fall off. Tool. Tool. Don't fall. <laughs> Greg, don't look down. Oh. <laughs> Future! I have the nicest bank tellers ever. It's wonderful. I love working with my bank. Ah, I'm vlogging with a bike. It's not fun. So I just went to the bank, and now I'm on my way home. Gonna see if FedEx or UPS do um, international shipping, and then going to go to one of those stores since, oh my gosh, since I don't know how to get to the closest. Uh, United States Postal Service post office from my house at all. Okay. And so now I uh, just bought a Batman mask off of Amazon because I need it for my show and my show is in two weeks and it says it'll take 12 days to get here so ordering it right now to get it as soon as possible. Uh, and uploading videos. And there's sister. Hi sister. Weirdo. Your face is a weirdo. You love my face. I hate your face. You're a liar. Your face is a liar. Woo! Your face is a liar. You deserve it. <gasps> Selling things on Amazon is difficult. And I ended up having to give up and cancel the order. And I feel really bad about that because this guy really wanted the DVD that I was selling and I wanted to sell it to him. But well, Amazon says that international shipping is only like $14.99. They add that on as the shipping charge? No. UPS charges $40 to ship internationally from US to Germany. FedEx charges $150 to ship from US to Germany. And the United States Postal Service charges $48 to ship from the US to Germany. I'm sorry, I'm not even making that much selling the DVD. So this is difficult for me and I'm not going to actually do that because that's giving me less money. That's taking more money out of my account than I started with. Like, I'm not making a profit. Wow, it got really sunny. So I feel bad that I had to do it because it's just not gonna work out. Maybe I'll um, try to sell it to a used movie shop or something and they can take care of it because it's a great show. It's called Blue Water High. It's um, it's an Australian show about like this team of competitive surfers who all live in a house together, and they go to a special school and they just surf, and that's what they do. And it's a great show. I love the show, except for when I bought it, it was in a format that's not the U.S. formatting. I don't know if we're format one or format two or whatever, but it's not in the U.S. format. I bought it from Australia on Amazon not realizing that I would need a special DVD player to watch it. And that's really sad. And so that's, I was gonna sell it back to somebody in Australia or Europe or something who can watch it and enjoy it. But I can't because money. I pause YouTube videos on such attractive faces, don't I? Do you see that down there? 40,419 words. That is how many words I have written for my Camp NaNoWriMo novel. My goal was 40,000. I am ahead of my goal, but I'm not done with my story yet. I'm on chapter 11, and I need this chapter, and then one more chapter, and then my afterword. Yes, I am writing an afterword for my novel. That is because I use a lot of Greek mythology references, and a lot of references to works of literature, and all the names of characters in my novel 
relate to names in Greek mythology and the characters are all based sort of off of the um, figures in Greek mythology that they're named for. So like, um, there's a character named Cassandra who is a seer and Cassandra in Greek mythology is a, is a prophet whom nobody believed though all her predictions were accurate. And in the beginning of the story, nobody believes that my Cassandra is a seer. Nobody understands what's going on or anything like that. So yeah, that's kind of my reference is, I have a lot of those actually. Every single one of my characters is going to have a Greek meaning behind it. And it's really actually really cool. I've loved doing the research for this and I'm already in love with Greek mythology and the religion and everything. So I'm glad that I got to incorporate that into my novel. I'm just really glad that I've got my word count goal done even though my story is not done. I'll probably finish it this week anyway. Yay! You have been freaking out for a good 10 minutes. What is your matter? What are you staring at? What is up there? There is nothing up there. Not even a bug. What is down there? There is nothing down there. Oh, there's a bug. Did you already kill it? Is that- Oh, Casey, that's gross! Don't eat the dead fly! You just killed a dead fly and then you tried to eat it. Do not expect me to want to cuddle with you for a while. You're gross. Disgusting dog is disgusting. Making cookies and jam into Lilo and Stitch. That's the life. I would just like to point out that it's 8 o'clock at night and my hair still looks really cute. Which is surprising for me because I have naturally really curly, really frizzy hair that just like poofs up and frizzes and looks really bad and I ended up putting it up like two classes into the day. But today just kind of did what it's supposed to do. I don't know, I guess I put substantial amount of product in it and it worked today. Yeah, hair! But yeah, this is the first day and probably forever that I haven't put my hair up at all until I got into bed. <sighs> Stop barking, there's nobody outside. Casey! This is why I want cats. This is why I don't want a dog when I move out. I want a cat because she has been barking for like 20 minutes for no reason. There's nobody out there. There's nothing out there. And he has been doing the same thing for no reason. They just bark. They have everything. They've been played with. They just bark. It annoys me. They're like children. Oh, so now you're going to be good? As soon as I turn the camera on, you're going to be good? Typical. Typical doggy. It's bedtime. Good night.